What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos on the channel and we also do daily Clash Royale tournaments at 8pm Eastern Standard Time. Uh, today we did like three tournaments all the way up until midnight, four hours long. And then yesterday we did a 2000 gem tournament because we had 350 people in the stream. And I will do as big a tournament as people come to the stream. The bigger the tournament, that means more people came to the stream. So... Uh, make sure you guys tell your clans, make sure you tell your friends, share the channel on Facebook, do whatever you gotta do. Cause, uh, yeah, come win, come win some free cards, that never hurt anybody. Speaking of, um, good deal on cards, I'm in the Grand Challenge, 8 no, guaranteed 4 epics and 42 rares. I believe the legendary drop, drop rate on an 8 win in the chest is about 15%, so... These have the best legendary drop rates in the game, I think. For the amount of gems you pay, this is the way to go. Even if you only get a few wins... One time I got like three wins, I was trying some weird deck, and I got a legendary. I think once I got, yeah, I got a lumberjack out of a zero win chest one time. So, I mean, they they have really good legendary drop odds. So, this is the deck we're using. Before I get into the battles, um, I'm really tired. I was, like I said, I streamed for four hours. My hands are tired, but Patriots34, one of the best expo players in the world, told me that after the update on November 1st, you might want to put the Ice Golem in for Skeleton Army. And possibly, possibly, very possibly, the um, Tesla Tower in for the Inferno Tower. But um, I think it's going to stay Inferno. And uh, it might even stay Skeleton Army and Guards. Because uh, I don't know if the Ice Golem 74% damage buff is going to be enough to like... Would it even like kill Goblins or uh, Skeleton Army? If it would kill a Skeleton Army, then it'd probably be worth it. I think it will. But I don't know if it's going to kill like a Minion Horde or anything. And these Skeletons really keep stuff... Uh, I don't know, though, because Ice Golem can really keep stuff off the Expo, too. We're going to have to find out, right? Okay, let's go ahead and play with this deck. Um, by the way, we're at 8 wins, so we're going to be playing people over 4,000 trophies, I'm assuming. Probably up close to 5,000. Um, last time when I got to 11 wins, I had to beat someone at, like, 4,800 trophies just to get there. And then I lost, like, 2 or 3 in a row. Not to mention it's 3 a.m., so we're going to be playing all Asian players. And, uh, yeah, let's just be honest. They're really good at video games. Yay. All right, there's the princess. I will fireball her. Can we catch up in damage? Can we catch it up? Yeah, we're gonna catch up. Please don't have rocket. That's not good. I was trying to get those archers. Now I got nothing to deal with them. Alright. We're ahead in damage, guys. But I do not like being... So, I need the... I can't use my log on the princess. Well, for one, it wasn't in rotation. From now on, I'm gonna... If I see the princess behind the tower, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna counter push here. Because he's gonna cross the bridge before mine. I think.
I'm gonna put that there because I don't want him to rock it. Got him, boys. We got him, boys. Pulled out. Pulled out real slow. Good game, Waka. All right, guys. Nine and zero. So last time I was nine and zero, I lost three in a row. So I hope it's not a curse. Either way, I hope we can learn something from the episode. We're guaranteed five epics. This is a great way to upgrade your epics and legendaries. There's the deck. Um, it's a great deck. You just the thing is, keep everything off your expo no matter what. If you lose half its health, it'll still take a tower. If you lose even, if it only has 25% health left, you can still do very, very well. So, yeah, it's a crazy deck play playing Shu, another Chinese player. We have our perfect starting hand this time. We have everything we need to keep stuff off the expo. I like to play the Ice Spirit right there, because then it'll stop anything he's got. And then that'll keep it distracted. That's a problem, because that thing will kill it. Yeah, I shouldn't even have, uh... Alright. By the way, guys, the Bowler Giant decks, that's the hardest deck to to beat with an Expo. So we got about 100 damage on that tower, but sometimes I like to switch it up on them. Because it doesn't matter what the damage is. If we can't get it, Lock on. Alright. He played that well. Nothing I can do. I'm not going to waste a bunch of elixir. Alright. So. Now that we know he plays his Inferno Tower... Let's go ahead and play this back here. I don't think so, buddy. No! If I had kept that health on it, guys, we'd have been in good shape. Okay. Don't get a bull off. Okay. Okay. So what I really would like to do is get that Inferno Tower down. Oh, no. It'd have been perfect, like, it would have been perfect. I can't get through it, guys. I'm, I don't know what to do. I feel like I need, uh... He can just log me, right? Please tell me not.
Unreal, guys. I finally got locked in at the last minute, and I couldn't get it. I tried. That's the hardest deck to beat for me. Is the Bowler. He's just so tanky that... And with the Inferno and Bowler and Giant, that's just... I've never even... Usually, people don't play the Inferno with a Giant and a Bowler. Or wait, he didn't have Giant, did he? He just had Bowler. Normally, people don't play the Inferno with a Bowler. No, that... It messed me up bad. That's alright. Let's get right back into it. No, no excuses. I shouldn't have lost. But I'm playing... We'll go take a look at these people's, uh... We'll go take a look at their trophies. After this. So with this, I like to play defense and then counter push and hopefully get valued rocket ball or fireballs. Or draw out the rocket. If we can draw out the rocket, I think we'll be okay. Let's go. Any extra damage helps. Like, all that extra damage, it helps. You might get one swing. No, please not. Please not. Oh, uh, yes. All right. So now we got him down to, like, that range where... See, he can't rocket ball or... He can't fireball. I keep saying rocket ball. I bet you guys are laughing at me right now. He can't rocket the tower, really. And if he does, like, if he rockets this minion... If he rockets this mega minion going by my tower, it's going to be bad for him. He's probably going to rocket it now. Get some shots in on that tower. There we go. And that, uh... So I'm playing it right here. Here comes the hog. We gotta get the log ready. I knew something was gonna be coming. Alright, we got it guys. The game well played, and that's a deck that also counters us with the rocket. So, we did good, guys. We did good. We made some very good counters there. Um, I know this video is probably running over 10 minutes. I like to keep them between 10 and 15 minutes, but I'm going to keep playing, because I'm sure you guys want to at least see, if I lose twice, I'm, I'm sure you want to at least see the chest. And my fingers hurt. I'm cramping up, but I've really got to focus. Let's get it. Alright. This is a decent starting hand, because we can play the Ice Spirit, and then... It's okay. I just hope he doesn't have rocket, because that'd be a great value right there. Mm, that's a good value too. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Gonna play this in the back. Mm. 
That's not good. Hmm. I mean, that's okay. We're, we evened up the damage, but I needed my Mega Minion. See, I'm not having the right, uh... But now I got my log for his Goblin Barrel, which is good. I was so late with that. That was so bad. Oh, I'm tilting now. That's just tilt. To be doing that's tilt. Okay, we're gonna counter here. We're just gonna go with the counter. Actually, no, we're not. Get them out of their comfort zone. We're locked on. You gotta do something, bro. Yep, be lightning. Sorry. He's gotta be down on Elixir. Get it, boys. Good game well played, we got it. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. 11 wins, man. I've never even got 12 wins, I always choke. I always choke, guys, I choke bad. Whew, my fingers are shaking. Is this gonna be my first 12 win challenge? Let's get it. Let's check out some 32. He's a good player if he's 32 up here. 36, good player if he's up here. 3,000, hmm. It's the first time I've been facing like 4,600. There's 4,000. 3,900. 4,200. Okay, that's from the tournament. The Christian guy. My fingers hurt so bad I almost want to wait, but I know you guys want me to do it, so please pray I don't choke twice. I got two chances. Come on. Looks like he made a mistake. I didn't need to do that, but it actually sets up my expo very well. That was bad. If I'd have had that Mega Minion in rotation, we'd have got that tower. No problem. Or a Fireball? Fireball or Mega Minion in rotation, that tower's done. I could have just let that uh, Miner go and he'd have wasted that 3 Elixir. Alright, another Lava Hound deck. I like to play right here because it's not distracted so easily right there. I played it a little late. That was bad. That was a waste right there. Wasted zap. He might get a little more damage, but not much. Play that, um... 
I wanted to play that. Seven elixir. Go ahead and drop it. What's it gonna be? Oh my god, I don't have anything in rotation. Now I just wasted that mega minion. Oh, I'm so dumb. I had nothing in rotation. Wait till double elixir, it'll work good. I need five elixir quick. This isn't good, guys. I don't think that was the right play. Definitely wasn't the right play. Gotta set this up perfect. Oh, we choked, guys. We choked. We were ahead in damage and we just choked. We're playing, you know, good players at 11 wins. But we also choked there. I, I made bad plays. We'll check his uh, trophy count. Why did I choke so bad there? 4,500, so he's, you know, high trophy count. Please don't choke. Come on. I shouldn't be doing this when I'm so tired. Like, I went, what? 4 and 1 in this episode. 4 and 1 in this episode, but, uh. I shouldn't be playing at night when all the Chinese are up, too. Figures I get a bad starting hand. I wonder what he's playing. That was bad. He's got lightning. Um, lightning works really well against this. Um, hmm. Bad hand. That was a bad idea. Now they're all going to die. Play your golem. Play it all the way in the back. Bowler, please lock on before that bowler gets there. He did a good play, man. That's the way you do it. I gotta just let this die now. No, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I might be able to save it with half health. He had to use the lightning. That's good, though. He had to use the lightning to stop that. Now he don't have lightning for what he really wants it for.
Please lock on before that gets there. Please, please, please one time do it. Nope. This is gonna be bad, I think. Close match, guys. He's gonna try to lightning and Terrible fireball, guys. Are you kidding me? Yeah! Pull it out! Let it swell, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, guys. My first ever 12 win challenge chest. Ha 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 ha. Wow, could it have been more dramatic? Hang on. Did that have the volume in it? I gotta get a real. Let me get some of that confetti in there. Yeah. Got some of that confetti in that screenshot. Got some of that confetti in that screenshot. I gotta share that battle. Wow, guys, our first 12 win challenge. And he was a 3,500 player using Rocket Pong's, well, kind of Rocket Pong's Bowler or Golem Archer deck. He won 12 challenge, 12 wins with it too. That guy was 4,500. Splat, or I'm not dead yet. I know you guys have been watching this whole time. You want to see this 12 win challenge chest. Could we get a graveyard out of this? Is it possible? Is it possible to get a graveyard out of this? I almost want to pop a stream on for a second, just so I can share it with you guys live. You know what? I might do it. I'm gonna pop a stream on while we're here talking. If you got it, if you want to fast forward a few minutes, you can. You know what? Nah, I won't do that. It's three in the morning. No one's gonna be on anyway. Let's just see what's inside. All right, twenty-two thousand gold. That's so much gold. I want to do these challenges all the time now. Two huts. We need like, we need like twelve epics to get a. Uh, to get a legendary. I'm getting a lot of ice. 25 Valkyries. That's a lot of Valkyries. 25 Mega Minions. I love Mega Minions. I need some epics though, right now. Uh, eh, that's the worst. I, I do not use Wizard. He's too expensive. Alright, we need a lot of epics right here if we're going to get a legendary. Nope. 26 Teslas. Well, as you can see, level 7. I don't even use Tesla. Hopefully we get some good epics. Uh, baby dragon. Well, we still won 12 uh, wins. We got a lot of cards while doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We undid a challenge streak. That's going to help with some tournaments. And yeah, guys, we are a 12 win, 12 win challenge player now. Not, not a classic challenge like some people do. We did it the hard way with the grand challenge. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, the team that makes dream work, smash thumbs up. And don't forget to tell all your friends about the daily tournaments, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.